So I guess violence broke out between Antifa and the Patriot Prayer people. Let's be absolutely clear about something. The Patriot Prayer people want to combine church and state. They are Dominionists who are only a small step away from being fascists. These people care nothing about the country becoming a corporate oligarchy. They're okay with that, or at least they're indifferent to that. Their main concern is making sure that patriotism and religion are combined as one thing, and then those who don't believe the same way are labeled and treated as if they're un-American and unpatriotic. These are people who think that the way to make America great again is by making everyone united under one religion, one belief, one God. Now, technically this label may be incorrect, but it's not that much of a stretch to call these people fascists. Technically, as I've said, they're dominionists. But since their goals will achieve the same things, it's not really that far off to call them fascists. It's not that much of a stretch. It is well worth something to protest against. This is why Antifa goes after them. It's kind of sad that so many people have taken the attitude of, well, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, and they've, of course, taken the attitude that Antifa is the enemy, so, therefore, the Patriot Prayer people must be our friends. Let's all join hands and sing about the wrath of God. It's all good as long as it bothers left-wing snowflakes. Is Antifa in the right? They have their hearts in the right place, but that's certainly not enough. And besides, what they're doing only ends up making the Patriot Prayer people look like innocent people who have just the best of intentions. And then, of course, there will be all of those who know that they don't have good intentions, but they really enjoy making disingenuous arguments against anyone who doesn't declare that Antifa is pure evil. You know, the people who rattle on and on about free speech, who get so upset when a right-winger gets censored, but says nothing when a left-winger gets censored. Because in actuality, they don't really care about free speech, they only care about their agenda. The free speech thing for them is pretty much all about virtue signaling. If we were to just let the awful patriot prayer people have their stupid little rally, and we didn't make a big deal about it, it would be done and over with soon enough. Just like most of the white nationalist rallies over the past 30 or so years were done and over with soon enough. The problem is social media, which takes small things and makes them huge, and takes huge things and turns them into a soundbite, or a, a piece of text that has a 280 character limit. I mean, it's just like with Anita Sarkeesian. If people ignore her, she eventually, essentially, goes away. And if everyone makes a big deal about her, well, it's free publicity. Patriot prayer people are getting free publicity from Antifa. Isn't that nice?